Hey there, welcome to Bright Side Science. Today we are going to discuss about tropical cyclones. Tropical cyclone is a scientific term used to describe a rotating large scale air mass that originate over water bodies in tropical regions of the earth. The tropical regions are the area of the earth near the equator and between the Tropic of Cancer in the Northern Hemisphere and Tropic of Capricorn in the Southern Hemisphere. The general pattern of the tropical climate is warm temperature. This is because the sun shines more directly on the tropic than on higher latitudes. Cyclones are formed only over these tropical regions near the equator. People call these violent storms by different names such as typhoons or hurricanes depending on where they occur. In the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, the North Atlantic Ocean and the Eastern and Central North Pacific Ocean, it is known as hurricane. In the Western North Pacific, it is called typhoon. In the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea, it is termed as cyclone. In Western South Pacific and Southeast Indian Ocean, it is known as Severe Tropical Cyclone. And in the Southwest Indian Ocean, it is called Tropical Cyclone. There are also few other differences in them apart from this. The tropical cyclones rotate in a counterclockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and in a clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. This is because of the Coriolis effect. How do cyclones form? Before explaining the formation of cyclone, we need to keep two things in our mind. One is the wind always moves from high pressure area to low pressure area and the second one is low pressure occurs at a place which is warm. When the warm moist air over a large area of static ocean water rises upward from near the surface then they form into a cyclone. When the warm air rises up and away from the ocean surface, it creates an area of lower air pressure below. It causes the air from surrounding areas with high pressure to move towards the low pressure area which further leads to warming up the new air and to rise above in order to fill the gaps. As the warm air continues to rise, the surrounding air spills in to take its place. As warm moist air rises and cools off, the water in the air forms clouds. The whole system of clouds and wind spins and grows using warm and moist air as fuel and thus creating a spiral-like structure. And this process is known as cyclogenesis. After that, any air traveling into the low pressure area has to join the spiral because the air cannot pass through the spiral directly. As the storm system rotates faster, an eye forms in the center. Now, let us explain the structure of cyclone. The wind field of a tropical cyclone may be divided into three regions the eye, the eyeball, and spiral rain bands. The eye is the area where there is a low pressure and this part is normally calm. And this is the area of high pressure sinking air. The eyeball is a dense cloud surrounding eye having maximum wind speed and it causes maximum destructions and spiral rain bands are the band of clouds spiraling into eye wall and it contains heavy rains the diameter of the tropical cyclone is typically around 200 to 500 km but can reach 1000 km Tropical cyclone usually weaken when they hit land because they are no longer being fed by the energy from warm ocean water. Tropical cyclones occur at the time of maximum solar radiation. In the northern hemisphere, it is during the period of July 
to October and the southern hemisphere it is during the period of December to March. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoy the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.